Hi, welcome back. Okay. Uh, so we finished with subject verb agreement. Yes. And uh, now we'll take comparisons. We'll take comparisons. Okay, so what's a comparison? Anything that compares. Anything. Wow. Okay. Okay. So uh, how how many questions come on comparison in, in GMAT typically? Generally, you will see comparison as parallelism on GMAT. As parallelism. Okay. Okay. So and uh, yeah, more these words whenever you see these words like more than less than yeah. so you know there is a comparison in the tense so it will not be the uh, only error in the uh, sentence but this will be one of the errors one of the errors which should be in the sentence yeah, so if you locate it you can cut the you can eliminate the, eliminate choice the choices yes. okay so it's basically used for elimination purposes, elimination purposes yes. so let's let's move to the next slide let's do that Okay, so it's a function of an adverb or adjective that is used to indicate degree of superiority or inferiority in quality, quantity, or intensity. So, in okay. simple words, it is just the comparison. So, a degree of superiority or inferiority in quality, quantity, Quant or, or intensity. intensity. Perfect. And uh, the rule is that we always compare only things which are comparable, logically comparable. Logically comparable. So that is apples with apples and oranges with oranges. Perfect. So you always compare logically comparable things. Yes. So if apples with all apples and oranges. So just remember this. Yes. If they're not logically comparable, then that means there is an error. Example. So if if we compare apples to oranges, so there is an error because okay. we cannot compare an apple with an orange. So that is an Ill illogical comparison. For example, that, if we say, a, that's a food we, class. yeah. So, uh, for example, if we say she uh, sings better better than my sister, she sings better than my sister. Yeah. So, what am I comparing? I'm comparing the singing of my sister, uh, her singing with my, my sister. Sister's. I cannot compare her singing with my sister. I'll have uh, to say she sings better than my sister does. Yes. So, I'll compare her singing with my sister's okay. singing. Okay. So just, that's I what just put that. I think what you mean is. She sings better than my sister. So, what you're comparing is singing with a uh, girl. Singing of someone with my sister. Your sister. So this is illogical? Which is absolutely illogical. Absolutely. So this would become she sings better than my sister. Does. Does. You put this and this becomes logical. Logical. Okay. Understood. Okay. So let's uh, see the examples. Sure. Okay. My cell phone plan is better than my friends. Yeah. So we speak this very frequently. Often. Yeah. But it's absolutely illogical. So what is the error here? Then my friend's cell phone plan. Yes. Or we uh, generally use that of. My cell phone plan is better than that, that of, of my of friend's. Mind. No, it is there. Okay. My cell phone plan is better than that, that of, of my, my friend's. friends. Let's see the next sentence. The view from this apartment is not nearly as spectacular as from that mountain lodge. lodge. So what I'm comparing in this sentence is the view, the view. with the mountain lodge, yes, which, which, is is illogical. which is illogical. So I have to say the view from this apartment is not nearly spectacular as the one. So what, what you're saying is the, the view, view is being compared to the mountain mount. lodge, which does not make sense. It has to mountain lodge's view. Yeah. So yeah. If, if you can correct it and say the view from this apartment is not nearly as spectacular as the one from that mountain lodge. So the lodge. one refers the to one the one view. The one refers to the view of the mountain lodge and it becomes logical. Right, so next sentence. Okay. Shakespeare's plays are different from any other playwrights of his era because they exhibit an exceptional mastery of verse. Shakespeare's plays are different from any other playwrights of his era. So we are comparing Shakespeare's plays with, with the playwrights, which, right. is, which, is, which no. is not wrong. So now I'll say those of. So you have to just doze off or... We don't write that off because I have a plural, plural. Uh, uh, yeah. subject there which is plays. Yeah. So plays cannot go that off. Plays that off always refers to singular. Do, doze off. Yeah. Right? So and now you understood what understood. is apples with apples and oranges understood, with oranges. Understood. Understood. Okay. So I, think, I think what you said was about what? Parallelism? Parallelism. After that we'll do this. This I is just the comparison. Is this how you write it? Yeah. Okay. So okay. I think this is what you call is parallelism, right? This is uh, comparison. This parallelism is comparison. will do. Okay. Great. So, 
let's see we the hope, next we line. Yeah. So these are the key linking words. When you see words like these, like, less than, that, also you know that there is you know, something to be compared. So first wait and see if there is an error in the sentence. So okay. this will give you a slight direction to the error. Basically, you're saying that this will always help you in elimination of... It might not always be wrong, but at least you can be sure whether there is an error or there is not an error. So and just don't ignore these words. Okay. So. I'll, I'll repeat what you had said earlier. Mm -hmm. You had said that if you see comparison, comparison generally does not come as the only error, mm -hmm. but it will help in elimination of uh, answer choices. Yes. So yes. It, you, you can utilize these points as elimination of answer. If you see these, yeah. there could be one of the errors in, yeah. in the uh, mm -hmm. question. Okay. So okay. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, so now comparison has parallels. Okay. So we say, mm, Parallelism, that is one part of the sentence, has to be uh, parallel with the second part of the next part of the sentence. For example, either X or Y. In this case, X can be one word or it can be the group of words. Okay. But X has to be parallel to Y. Similarly, with neither X nor Y and not only X but also Y. Yeah. Okay. So, for example, if I have, uh, if we go to the sentence here, either drinking or to eat will do. Either drinking or eating will yeah so either yeah. x absolutely absolutely because because this is an ing format yeah and to eat is wrong. infinitive form yeah infinitive. so this you can always uh, divide your sentence into x and y if you're not sure of the parallelism so when you see or go mm, uh, see what is before or and see what is after or Perfect. so that makes it x and y in the second say, uh, sentence, it is either drinking or eating will do. So correct. You can also write either to drink, to or, drink or to, to eat will do, which yes. is also correct. Which is also correct. So this, this is, is this is an infinitive form. Right? Yes, this is an infinitive form, and that is ing form. ING so form. this is what we, know, we call parallelism. Okay, so I'll quickly repeat this. You're saying when whenever you see either x or y, neither x nor y, not only x but also y. Yeah. Uh, make sure that the form forms the grammatical are same. Structure. The grammatical structures are the same. Yes. So, for example, idea. either drinking or to eat will do is, is incorrect. Yeah. Uh, let's say either drinking or eating will do. Because they're not identical, right? Yeah, so absolutely. They need to be identical. Make sure that they are identical. Uh, do questions on GMAT come on such practice? Yes, very much. A lot of parallelism yeah. questions come? Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Now, when there is a series of clauses in the sentence, so that means there are commas in the sentence. Okay. So, every clause. In every clause, the word should be in the same form. Okay. For example, during her trip to London, Jade will talk to hotel about job opportunities. So I have the verb here, talk to. Yeah. That is the first part, uh, verb in the first clause. Second says, offer to work for minimum wage. So I again have the same form of verb. And after that, trying to, which is wrong. So talk to, offer, offer to, to, and try, try to. to. That makes it. So you can see comma, yeah. comma, and right. So that means in every clause, the verb has to be in the every form. clause. Important verb has to be in the same form. Verb, verb has yeah. to be in similar form. form. Perfect. Okay, so let's move, go to the next slide now. Okay, so when a series of clauses is listed, the verbs in each clauses must have the same form. Yeah. Very important. Okay, let's go ahead. Both houses of the sentence should have the same structure. So there are two houses of the sentences. Okay. The sentence. So both houses need to be in the same structure. Okay. Let's see the house. It says to acknowledge divine wisdom. This is the one half. Mm -hmm. And second is. Uh, is taking the, the first, first step, step to, to so taking the first step to nirvana is the second half. Yes. But this is not parallel. Absolutely. Because it says to in, acknowledge, in and then it says form, taking. Taking, which is in the ing yeah. form. Right? And how might we correct it? To acknowledge divine wisdom is to take the first step. Or, or acknowledging divine wisdom good. is taking the first step to nirvana. Very good. Whatever is given to you is yeah. right. Yeah. So similarly, listening to a recording of your favorite band is not same as to listen to that band. Either. So, so not same as to listen. This is wrong because because this is listening. So this is not same as listening to that band at a live concert. Mm -hmm. Or to listen to a recording of a favorite band is not the same as to listen 
to that band and her life. Also. Right now, how you choose which part uh, do you uh, would you uh, correct is the uh, by the underlying portion. Whatever is underlined, you can only change that part. Okay, so so change the underlying portion and, and you cannot change the yeah, non-underlined portion. Natural, right? natural. <coughs> Neither an interest in history nor to be adept in foreign language is going to help you sing. Okay, neither an interest in history not to be adept in foreign language is going to help you sing. Now, neither an interest. Yes. So, an interest is now? Neither an interest, yes. So, this is now? The yeah. Nor, after nor? Nor. So, it says to be adept. So, that means it is verb? Yes. So, now I have neither X nor Y. Yeah. My X is a noun and my Y is a verb. Yeah. Now, this is parallelism error. Yeah. So, either both of them need to be verbs yeah. or both of them are to be nouns. So, Neither an interest nor an adeptness. Nor an adeptness. Nor an adeptness. Is going to help. Yes. Okay. So now we know that when there are two halves in the sentence, both halves of the sentence should have the same structure. Right. Understood this? Yes. You understood so I, I'll repeat this one again. Yeah. Neither an interest, this is a noun. Hmm. But when you look at to be adept, that is a verb. Yeah. And when we say adaptness, so, so there's a parallel problem here. Yeah. So what you can do is you can just change this into a noun, yeah. and we've done that. We have changed this into a noun by putting an adapt adaptness yeah. as the noun. Okay. So yeah. Let's go to the next slide. Sure. Okay. When there are two adjectives that modify the same noun. Those adjectives need to be in the similar form. Important. Yeah. Okay. The exercise program was rigorous and a challenge. The exercise pro program was a rigor and a challenge, or the exercise program was rigorous and challenging. Challenging. Yeah. Because when we say it was rigorous, yeah. it was a rigorous what? It was rigorous. And so rigorous is always an adjective. Yes. Rigorous something, and you when you say a challenge, so our challenge is noun. Noun. Yeah. This has become a noun. And this is an adjective. So change this into another adjective, which is challenging. Challenging, right? The exercise program was rigorous and challenging. You can also identify it because there is an uh, article. It says a. Uh, so a uh, article always comes with a noun. With noun. So a yes. uh, challenge. So that means you understand that this is a noun, and rigorous is not. Absolutely. Noun, so I am able to understand. Absolutely. Okay.